I have got so many requests from my viewers and subscribers to make a presentation for teachers and students. So by keeping their request in the mind, I have dedicated this particular videos for them. And this can also be used by the working professionals. So let me just tell you how it works. This is the first slide where you can see a projector here at the floor. And then this is a big projector screen. You can add your first text here. For example, I just said projector learning for students and then i have put one kind of a film reel where i have just put the images of the body parts and when i click you can see here it moves on then the light falls onto the first object and then you can see a bigger image in the screen and then you can add the detailed text the heading and the, the title there so on my next click it goes to the next one and then the bigger image appears here and then it goes to the next one so likewise you can just do it for the rest of the options so i have used the morph transition now for this particular tutorial so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill you can give any color of to the background or you can keep it white also then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle how much size you need for example i'm going to keep this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give gray color or or black color as well then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the parallel uh, sorry the trapezoid just draw the trapezoid you can see here and again shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to make say from this end till this end you can see here and then using the small orange point you can just reduce the size here you cannot reduce the size and because the moment you try to reduce it reduces from both the sides in this case i'm going to right mouse click edit points and then you can just reduce it something like this you can see here and then you can right mouse click go to format shape and you can give some pattern fill you can maybe you can give some lines like this and the color you can use it black or whatever color which you feel so this is uh, the projector screen i'm going to place one projector here and this size also you can just reduce it from the bottom something like this and then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape here something like this you can see here and make it a black color shape outline make it no outline then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the trapezoid once again draw the trapezoid you can see here and rotate it to you can say your flip vertical and again shape outline make it no outline and you can give some gray color to this and then i'm going to insert add one more rectangle you can add a rectangle again give this a black color you can see here shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to add one more shape which is the the frame just draw a small frame you can see here you can reduce the width and again give black color no outline so it looks something kind of a projector it's not a projector but looks like a projector and then i'm going to add a, a film or the video reel here so i'm just going to add a new slide here right mouse click new slide and i'm just going to delete this and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle how much size you need for the film reel and then make it no outline go to insert shapes i'm going to select uh, maybe a small rectangles here you can see here let me just give some different color zoom in and you can just reduce the size you can see here you can put this much size and then press ctrl d to duplicate it and just place it next to this again control d i'm just going to place it so you can just do it one by one and then you can see here it is coming like this not a problem then later on we can just 
arrange it so i'm just going to select all this and align i'll just say top so you can see here and then let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring it down here you can see here just bring it down something like this all right let me just move it a little bit yeah then i'm just going to select all of this and then go to merge shape and you can just do a subtract you can see here it looks something like this and you can give some different color now whichever color you like and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select small rounded corner rectangle here you can see here where i'm going to place my images this one you can give some light colors shape outline make it no outline and then press ctrl d now how many images you want to copy that much boxes you need to add it here all right now once this is done i can press ctrl a to select all ctrl g to group it and bring it here sorry ctrl c and ctrl v this color also i can just go and change it so that it should not maybe this color i can give and just put it here and in the subsequent slide this slide will move and the reflection or the main image will come onto the projector so let me just send this to back you can see here that's okay so i'm going to add some body parts here for example this is we are going to teach to the students so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 10 uh, icons i can add go to insert click on icons so i'm just uh, selecting some body parts from here you can see here i can just select uh, ear nose tongue i can say the heart lungs kidney stomach bones so like this you can just select and click on insert you can see here let me just move it here and change the size to maybe 0.6 and the color to somewhat gray color here or this color and then i'm just going to put it one by one here in this one just arrange it properly whichever way you want the image to come first this is just for the sample you can add anything which you like here in this one you can see here let me just add this one by one and then you can see here i have added all i'm now i'm going to select this press control g to group it so you can see it becomes one group let me just go to format and send to back i'm going to place it here this is my first slide so i'm going to duplicate this slide but before that let me just move a little bit here something like this okay and then i can right mouse click and say duplicate the slide and then i'm just moving closer to the projector you can see here the first image which is the ear and then i can go to insert shapes i can add a trapezoid so that the light reflection to the ear and then this ear will be visible in the big size and then i'm just going to rotate it i can just say flip vertical and i'm going to select a gradient fill the gradient fill i'm going to select a white color one stop you can see here make it as a linear and the size i'm going to select like this and then this also i'm making it white but i can increase the transparency level something like this you can see here it is reflecting here shape outline make it no outline and send this to back so this slide i'm going to transition and select as a morph so you can see here it comes something like this you can reduce the size also something like this so for example if i am playing it comes something like this and then this particular image of the ear i'm just going to copy control c click outside control v 
you can increase the size let me just give some different color it will be visible maybe white you can see here and i can just increase the size and you can add some text here i will say that year and again make it a white font bold you can increase the size and then you can add more detailed text here sorry for this i'll just add some text box so you can just add some detailed text where you are explaining the students the importance of the year you can give more details now this is done let me just duplicate the slide now and move this to focus will be on the tongue you can see here it should be on the tongue just use the arrow keys i'm going to delete this and i'm going to copy ctrl c click outside ctrl v paste and give the color as white and increase the size and you can just say this as tongue i don't know the spelling t-o-n-g-u-e i believe and then likewise again you can duplicate this again move this and put your focus on the heart let me just copy the heart ctrl c ctrl v again give the font as white sorry the sh shape fill as white and then i can just say this is the heart so let me just play now when i click it moves here it comes the ear then it goes it comes tongue it comes heart likewise you can add anything here which will in which will attract the students to learn more in a much uh, innovative way That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.